Hello everybody, welcome back to Icarus. Uh, last episode we did the first mission, uh, which was kind of a tutorial, and we took a whole episode to do it, which we didn't really need to do, I don't think. Uh, so welcome back to the second episode. We're going to carry on pretty much the same as we started, uh, plodding through the missions. Um, I will just mention for the first mission, you can see here I did earn 25 whatever currency is. Um, now, 25 currency is not really enough. Um, I did find out, uh, because I was told, if you go to workshop here, you can see what you can get with your currency. And the only one that is available for me is the EnviroSuit. As you can see, it costs 50 of those to research it, and then it costs 25 to actually craft it. Uh, so we're not going to be doing that just yet, because, well, can't afford it. Uh, so we're going to go back to here, same as before, I'm going to do New and Missions and Olympus. And you can see Beachhead Recon is the one we completed uh, the last time, and that was the reward for that. The, the only other mission we can do is this Livewire Terrain Scan, which says Gather Terrain Data for New Drop Zones. And the reward for that is 100, uh, whatever that currency is. So we'll be able to do something with that after this mission. So uh, same as before, um, I'm going to, well before I do, you can see all these spoke missions coming away. There's one way down there. Uh, if this doesn't take too long, if we can get through it quickly, then we'll go off and do one of the other ones and uh, see how we get on with that. But for now, it's this Welcome mission here. Lagos unit runs Icarus for the UDA. But most of this planet's still a blank on the map. The unit wants new drop zones, which means getting terrain scans. And they'll pay for the privilege. Just set up a radar at three locations and come back alive. You up for it? So there we go. We've got to set a radar up at three different locations. And um, again, we're going to do medium, plain prospect, and here uh, it says you have been given a default prospector suit, uh, equip a new suit by dragging and dropping it here. Uh, that gives us plus one oxygen slots. So I don't think I do anything with that just yet, um, for obvious reasons. Anyhow, um, same as before, you would confirm your loadout and join the session, clicking this button. Uh, now, because I want to do a co-op game, I'm not actually going to click that button. Uh, instead, uh, the other players are going to set up the um, mission on their screens and then I'm going to go to here and click join and their game will appear. They haven't done it yet. Their game will appear and I'll just join theirs. But if you're playing along in single player, then uh, just click the button as I showed you. Hey, there he is. Oh. Like a sonic boom coming in. Hello, everybody. Let me just crash into this mountain. <laughs> oh, it really is a mountain, too. Yeah, here we go. Well, we have control. <laughs> So, hello. Hello. Um, where the heck am I? Let me let this guy stop yabbering on for a minute. Which means they need terrain data and a heap of it, fast. So grab the radar from the supply crate. Uh, okay. From three locations on your map. You'll be heading into uncharted territory, but that's exactly why we need the data. Think you can handle it? Well, either way, it's too late now. Good luck. Uh, take all? Take all? No, can't. Dropship cargo. Mission equipment. 
I can't grab the radar. How do I grab the radar? Uh, if you take it and you move it into your G. Oh, G slot, I see, yeah. Well, yeah. Con control click did it. Oh, but, right, um, yep, that's yeah. it. It wouldn't let me put it in the normal slots. It was confusing. So, hello everybody, welcome hello. back to Icarus. Uh, again, I have joined up with uh, Portu and Techolab, and they are... I don't know where they are. Um, as usual, I've landed in the middle of the mountains. Um, ooh, uh, is that your is that your thing on the compass? Your, your I uh, ping? pinged my own pod. I forgot to grab the radar, so I am eventually okay. going to get back there. But I thought I'd also come your way too, and we can meet up and okay. gather um, ourselves. Just uh, collect. I seem to have lots of rocks around me. Yeah, I forgot to grab the uh, radar myself. Ah, see, the newbie got it right. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the hang of it already. There you go. Right, just grab some of these. And then we'll go and meet up with the other two. Remember to eat your berries. Oh, I haven't found any berries yet. Let me put huh? that in there. Happy red bush. Crafting. Uh, so, I've already got the ability to craft the things that I unlocked in the last episode. So that's kind of good. One of those. And uh, one of those. One of those. Oh, we're cooking with gas. This is your pod. Let's see if I can take anything from there. Nope. Of course, weather. Straight away. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so that's the new forecast, actually. That's right. the latest update that they just came out with. Uh, nice. Let me see if I can meet up with you two and uh, get some berries. I think I'm right near you. I think I just passed you. Heck, I don't even know where anybody is. Well, I'm just heading just to the, the red dot. Might as well. I gotta, oh, I'm right behind you. I see you now. Ah, there you are. Hello. Hey. Hello. Uh, let me just... Uh, uh, I'm going to put both of you on so that we can actually see what you're both up to. Um, hi. Yes. Uh -huh. hey, look what I have. Aha. Uh -huh. I saw that. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Looking good on your back. <laughs> I oh, it was, need one of those. It was on my back, was it? Okay. So technically, so the mission here... Got them on the left, but yeah. technically we only need one of those. But because there's three of us in the co-op, it gives each of us one oh, right, for okay. a pod. So we might as well grab all three since we've got um, them. Yeah, we have a new um, storm warning system. And I've had to move the boxes down on my on the right, uh, the other two views, so that you could see it. Hopefully I've moved it down far enough. Uh, so we have a storm incoming, and it shows the severity of that storm. Um... Ooh, when I see a wolf. Kind of. Need some wolf. water here soon. Um. Oh, I got him. Aha, that was a shot, wasn't it? Yeah, we didn't mention in the last episode because I was a little bit um, overwhelmed with everything. In the left-hand side, uh, where the heck did the wolf go? Hang on, I've lost my wolf. <laughs> um, left hand side you can see we have the live wire terrain scan um, basically mission requirements um, oh there he is um, so we didn't pay much attention to it last time if I had it done I could have seen that I, I could have done a lot of the things that it was requesting much earlier on in the process but in this one we need to just go to three locations and place down the scan radar Oh, I missed that one. Um, but to get there, I'm guessing, is not as easy as just, oh yeah, let's walk over there and do it. We Presumably, we have to protect ourselves from storms and things. Is that right? 
yeah. Yep. Let me just, um... So the nice thing with the storms is we can do our trick we learned in the last episode. Chisel out a rock yep. pretty easily. I might be doing here pretty soon, but yeah, you see the storm passing. It's nice to note that yellow that we were seeing, with, which is the break where the cloud then becomes like a lighter green. In the yellow is where you're taking damage, and when it's green, you'll start recovering. So as, soon as, as long as you can make it to the green bar, you're good to go, even though that's the tail end of the storm. Uh, you won't take any more damage. Okay, well, I'm inside a rock and my storm exposure is dropping. So I'm guessing that's good. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you get a debuff, so even if you're not taking physical damage, when your storm exposure goes over a certain point, just like your food buff, you get a debuff for storm. So that's another thing to think about. Okie dokie. It's not just about the damage. Yeah, it slows you down. Yeah, so if you get it, let's say, you know, you encounter a bear or something, you might be a little bit slower than if you had chiseled a rock earlier on. All right. Okay. And so that's that. Grab some that's oxygen. Kind of typically, all you do, you just find a little shelter for a few moments, and then you're typically through the storm. I think um, one of the biggest problems would be a lot of people wouldn't know that trick uh, with making a hole in a rock. So in in that instance, we would have been up in the serious trouble range, and this is you know you'd be taking damage from the storm, wouldn't you normally? So. And I think that's why your other goal then is to have that thatch uh, hut ready to go. And it really doesn't take a lot of materials, so, you know, that's not a bad thing to just craft your... You don't even need the posts if you don't want to, just, you know, two flats and four walls, and you can even build it around yourself, so you don't even need to carry a door. Right. Just build four walls around yourself. So, that's definitely a good trick. Okay. Alright, little wolf. Action myself. Hey, level up. Oh, Congrats. didn't get the headshot. One more level and I'll have uh, level five. That's when I ah. get all the bone tools. That's a big level. Okay. Yep. Well, nice bone arrows. So nice. The fourth arrow I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, mud. Let's grab ourselves. Oh, I didn't chop that wolf carcass up, did I? Oh well, never mind. No idea where it was. Ah, now. found a cave. Oh, nice. Not that we need it, but found it. Well, um, do we want to mozo start heading towards the blue marker? Is our first point on the map to do? I don't know where you are. I'm down by the lake. Yeah, might as well grab some water while you're down there. I need to as well. And then uh, I will meet up with you and we can venture towards the first point in our mission. Okay. So, how do I know the first point in our mission? So if we open up the map, you can see three, you know, one of those little radar icons. Maybe pause to remove your ping for now. Oh, all the way down there. Wow. Yeah, that little yellow radar is um and then you see one down to the left so you kind of just look around on the map and see yeah uh, the other I points you where to go i see oh lord it's way over there okay i wasn't ex <laughs> wasn't expecting them to be that far away uh yeah. right yes okay so the first one is is that the blue marker that you've put down or yep oh, yeah yeah so if you even move it you'll see but it's the same looking icon uh, right here. Blue. Oh, right. Over oh, yeah. there. Okay. All right. I'll start heading up towards the blue marker then, now that I found okay. it on my compass. And Patu, if you're there, maybe you might want to start a fire. Yep. You're Got ahead fire of us. already. Be you. Oh, I see a wolf on oh. top of the rocks. Watermelon. Uh, I am apparently completely incapable of climbing those rocks. And I do see I uh, apparently got 
uh, osentary, dysentery, excuse me. <laughs> osentary. Yeah, uh, see, they, these suits are supposed to filter, but they are not filtering like. Yeah. Uh, they may have changed it. Yeah, oh, okay. dirty water. Level 3 oh, I'm out of arrows. Apparently, level 3 wolves are not to be messed with. Okay. Lesson learned. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that bone knife is also just big upgrade. Doesn't break nearly as fast as well. Okay. That, that was is, um, uh, fun. There is a fire by where the uh, yeah, scanner goes. I okay. uh, run down to the lake here, grab some drink and stuff. Got one... Oh, geyser. These are always a surprise. <laughs> I skinned one wolf and my knife broke. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I'll be done. Glad to be done with these stone tools. Okay, go. Made here. Let's chop that up. Okay, something's chasing something. Might have kicked up a deer. Uh, just lots of everything everywhere. Uh, crafting arrows. Five arrows definitely wasn't enough. We'll have 32. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's great. Arrows are good for um, uh, experience with crafting them anyways. Okay. Um, and we didn't I, point it out to the viewers, and it might be harder to see uh, with the resolution, but in the top left there, as you see experience, you can see the actual points. So you get, you know, a good amount of points for killing the wolf, and actually quite a lot for then harvesting it. Okay, uh, apparently I can only make two bandages. Um, yeah, my health took a bit of a beating on that one. Um, maybe I shouldn't have... I, I thought, oh, I'll just headshot that wolf. And then I headshotted him. He didn't die. Well, then I, um, that's always a good reason when you get to this fire here. Eat yourself one piece of, or at least one piece of uh, cooked meat. Those are great for health. They'll give you, they'll grow your health bar and help you with the recovery of health if you take more damage. Right. Hey, um, what are you doing? Get away from my fire. That's my fire. <laughs> bandage didn't really do a lot for my health. All right, time to stop messing around. Let's um, let's get up to the blue, the blue marker. All right, it's a beautiful uh, view up here. I'll bet. So, uh, yeah. Dave, we gonna do our, our, oh, yeah. uh, cause you know something, something to show the viewers a little. Hey, that was my watermelon. <laughs> he wants watermelon. <laughs> no, I got some. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, that would be a great thing. Is he That's stealing your food? Tricky. If he's stealing your food, just shoot him. Uh, you know, I thought about it, but I don't want to waste my arrows. <laughs> <laughs> and I could stab him, but then it'd break my knife, and then I'd have to repair it. So. Yeah, it's a nuisance for him to repair a knife, huh? Uh, yeah. I'll make yeah. two, and, and if you want to make one? I don't need, I'm not, I've teched into the, the posts. Oh, want, yeah, true. I don't want to tech into thatch. I don't like thatch. Okay, well, I'll just make one for everybody then. Uh, ooh, we are way up now. Uh, we? We'll wait for you to get here and show you what we're talking about. You two must have just made a beeline for the marker, that's what it was. Yep. <laughs> I sure did. Well, you were smart and you went to water. <laughs> that's uh, what I always forget in the beginning, is I forget to go uh, down and drink the water and then I'm halfway across the map away from a lake. I don't know whether it was smart because it, I seem to end up surrounded by wolves, but... <laughs> Good experience. Well, I did get plenty of food, so that's one bonus. Yeah, this is way out there, isn't it? Yeah. Was, was this the closest one to us on the map? It is, yeah. Wow. So yeah, we may want to do a little divide and conquer on the uh, next ones. Oh, where'd he go? There it is. Oh, there you are. I see you. 
Hello. Hello. Um, don't, get, don't step in the fire, you will catch fire. Oh, right, yeah, that's not a good look, really, is it? So, and the lake is. Click that over there. The lake's far down there. Don't know why I'm Do you see that on your health bar, that little notch? You can see how it's now grown bigger. Uh, a little line, your health is in the bottom left, that plus sign. Yeah, what notch? It has a little, uh, it has a little uh, strike through it towards the right end of the bar. That shows you how it's now grown, so you now can take more health because you ate that meat. I haven't eaten any meat yet. <laughs> I'm just cooking it. <laughs> oh, oh, I was even looking down at uh, Patu's screen. Oh, I see, yeah. There you okay. go. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, so, right as you eat it. so the, the white line is your nominal health, and then... That shows how much extra you... Yeah, got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and as, and as we progress through here, you'll see uh, a bunch of that. different foods and stuff you can make. And you can grow your stamina bar and your health bar pretty extensively. Right. Okay. Uh, is there any point in keeping wheat? Does wheat do anything? No. Uh, not yet. No. And, um... Have you eaten? Oh, there's stringy meat uh, that you have there in your inventory. Yeah. I when that it. cooks, that is prime meat. That is really good for health. It That's a great thing to cook. It won't go so, on the fire because there's no room. If I if I consume, yeah, let me make a little room for no, you. No, it's all right. Yeah. I'll con consume the. Uh, yeah. There we go. And then you can, um, you can it, it arranges purple. the priority is left to right. And so if you want the stringy meat to cook next, I can move it over here, and now that will be the next thing that cooks. All right. Yeah, well, I was just the charcoal on the ground too, because we're not going to yeah. use it yet. Right. Yeah, I, but it'll, I was just it'll regenerate charcoal in another five seconds. Communally so adding to the stash. That's uh, what I was doing. All right. Well, so it's getting um, a little dark. So let's go ahead and do this one, I think, and I can show you the trick that we were just talking about, if you want. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm just looking. I've got 57 leather, 18 fur, and 83 bones. If that's any good to anybody. Awesome. The fur will be great. We're going to sleep it out tonight here after we finish this first mission. So I think the timing will be perfect. Five so, um, okay. I've got ten fur. So take a look. This is just... Um, you, Sal warned us. You heard him in the uh, the mission as we came down. Uh, the animals might, might take uh, not too kindly to us planting this radar. So this is something we do. You take four posts. One, two... Three, four, and then we have a ramp like this. You hop okay. up on the ramp and you place a platform. If I can get it, put it in the right spot. There we go. And All there right. you are. Okay. This is like a little protective area. So if you stand on here, the animals will try to attack you, but you're in the you're above in the air. Right, yeah, so, so they stand, don't stand at the post, stand at the very front of it. Yeah, so they can't get you, and they've not got the pathing path to be able to climb up here. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. the one downside when you're trying, if you try and do this stuff by yourself, the one downside of that is once they're under you, you cannot hit them. Yeah, it is tricky. Yeah, you can try. Yeah. But there's but so you yep. you really need two, two people and two thingies. Okay. Yeah, to to make it easy. Um, yeah, I mean, you could do it by yourself. It's just tricky. Right. Uh, okay. So, now that we've got here and set up all this infrastructure, should we place the radar? Let's uh, do it. Okay, so I press G. Yep. Yep. And then I just sort of... Yep, see how it snaps in the green there versus the red? Yeah, okay. It shows you Oop. snapping in. Oh, yeah. Right. And normally... And then you have to hit E to uh, activate it. Uh, yeah, or F in or, my or case. F. You're, yep. Looks like the unit's oh, yeah. ready. So he will, at some point, he is going to tell you that there you got company, and at that point, you better be up on your stands. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll uh, take the hint. I'll do that now. Which is this one? And is. then. On the left, you see the completion percentage is a part of the mission checklist. Uh, completion percentage. Oh, I see. Yeah. In the middle of the box. 23, 24. 23, 24. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think so they generally come around 50. 
I think. Mm. So we have scanner durability, so I presume at some point they try and attack it? Yep, that is what they're going to attack, and then yeah. they'll turn on you too, so they, they start attacking that usually. Okay. Huh. I right at 50. A bear cub? Oh boy. Yep, bear cubs. Uh, I see a rabbit. Underneath you, so you can't see it. It came oh. in. Oh, I was going to say, I see a rabbit. Yeah, wow. They're starting... Uh... Oh yeah, so they do tend to spawn from a few different places, so it looks like they're coming in behind you. Yeah, I, I'm always looking in the wrong direction. <laughs> so there's no, like, mini map around. Oh, is, it is mummy. Oh boy. I don't have a lot of arrows for this. Uh oh. I don't see mummy. Oh, She's right underneath you. You can crouch. If you stay crouched, you cannot walk off the edge. So if you stay in stealth mode, that is one big benefit. Right. It prevents you from falling. Ooh, I am out of arrows. That's not good. Did she just give birth? Hey. She yep, just give birth to, to another arrows. cub. Oh boy. I have a cub underneath me. I didn't realize. So we completed this. Did they completely destroy it? I think so. They must have. Uh oh. And we're in the middle of a storm. <laughs> oh boy. Crap, my bow's broken already. So not used to this. <laughs> and my knife just broke. Okay. And I have no stones. And as a wolf. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'm I'm not doing too well here. Yeah, alright, alright. I can't oh see him. Yeah. Can't see him to shoot him. <laughs> Got one down. I can't. I am stuck inside here. Yep, you are. Just break it. Take it down. There we go. Okay, we're done. <laughs> um, so we did actually complete what? it, though. Is that we did actually manage did. to yep. finish the thing? Yep, it made yeah. it to a hundred percent. Yeah, oddly enough. So I am gonna need a chisel into this little rock here. Make myself a rag torch. And don't forget to skin these guys, uh, that's great for experience. Yeah, just be between repairing the knife, I'm skinning them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Level five, so nice. Oh, there you go. Ta da. I wouldn't know. Okay. <laughs> bone knife, <laughs> bone arrows, heck yeah. Okay, so some lessons learned. Uh, repair your bow before you <laughs> we go into these. Yeah. Make sure you got right, plenty okay. of arrows. I got yeah, full wood structures. The only thing I did not take into is. I did not have enough tech points for the uh, door, but otherwise I have wood structures. Oh, we got an overflow bag. So here's yeah. our radar. Take a look at this here, Mozo. This is how this works in the game. So if you open right. that up, those old bags usually have something in them. So there's okay. your radar. Oh, right. Okay. So you could just, oop, you just grab it back to take onto the next site, presumably. I guess so. Yeah, I didn't actually realize that. Or maybe it did that for another reason. I don't know. Um, can we get shelter under here? You sometimes can. Uh, not really. Wolf. 
Oh. So the I will say the arrows are really great when you're sneaking uh, and you can just get them in a one shot. They mm -hmm. don't work quite as well in the heat of battle until right. you have a good bow. Sometimes the knife is the fastest. Yeah, yeah so you guys come on up here. Thinking Very maybe much. you can shelter in here. Maybe with a bit of shelter would have been a good idea, but it is actually going down how anyway. Do, so how we doing on fur? We're coming up. Uh, we got night here, anyways. I got, I got five. Um, <laughs> um, fur explicitly fur. You mean as opposed to any other kind of stuff? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I've got uh -oh. thir thirty-eight. Oh boy. Dave, what are you doing over there playing with the wolves? I know, I know. I mean, we do need fur, so... Right. So... There's 20 fur. Nice. It's one bed. Mozo, between what you got and what I got, we should be able to get another bed. Should we show him the, our trick? I think we should. Viewers don't need to see us in the dark. Um, should I light this fire, or is that going to set fire to this this wood? It, it would oh, set ahead, fire. Go. So like, we can make our shelter a different way at this point. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I would I would light that now. Oh, I took all the wood out of it. Oh, okay. Uh, so I can make the shelter. All right, I've got uh -huh. a few sticks. There you go. Yeah, a lot of sticks. Not many, but. Uh, yeah, I put some more on, so we should be good. Yeah, if it's all right with you guys, uh, okay. Yeah, we can we can do we can do, we do this here. So I'm this is uh you know as simple as it needs to be on a shelter. I'm gonna make windows because you know me, I like windows. Just gonna grab a bit of wood because I didn't have anything. So. Oh, I need to run down and get some food or some water. So um, yeah. it took three of us there to kind of look after the the radar with all those animals attacking. Now, if you were playing in single player, would you get as many attacking, or does it no. scale with co-op? It does scale. Yeah, so you're right. It, yeah, I mean, if I, you were, I do remember reading that. If you were on your own, it would be kind of difficult to shoot all those bears and wolves and cubs and all the rest of it. Yeah. Exactly. And as the as the missions get harder, uh, one of the harder missions that I have done myself um, on one of the scans, they, they they actually do throw quite a bit at you. Mm. But yeah, in the beginning, like you say, if you're starting off, that would have been a much less. But because there's three of us, you know, they gave us a lot more. And and then again, some of that, like you say, fought too. As you get further down in the missions, you've got better weapons, you've got all kinds of other things that make it more manageable but, and certainly very exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I would have wanted to do that much oh, hello, uh, on my own. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. Right, so it's telling me I am short of water. Yep. Alright, well, like I'm here. thinking if we just do our sleep here, tonight then maybe we can then branch off i know we had uh you know, yeah. talked about maybe yeah. do we want to divide and conquer as far as these next two scans makes sense yeah so maybe if we sleep reset it in the morning and then we can grab our water as we venture in either direction am i not going to die of dehydration if i sleep uh nope nope it doesn't go down while you sleep it's in sleeping is kind of an instantaneous process i knew it's more stringy meat this bed requires more shelter. Mm. Your bed's too close to the window, I think. Ah, uh, it shouldn't be really. Okay, yep. Sometimes it does that. It doesn't like all the windows, so... So... We can just do walls. That's fine. <laughs> yep, you're absolutely right. That was it, I'm sure. There we go. 
set a spawn point if you want, but... Um, All right, so I was Patu, just... do you guys have enough to make a second one? I was just I thinking, do, do we need a bed each? That Six. was the... Yeah. yeah. And how much do you have, Mozo? Um, Patu, before you go off. I've got to unlock it first, haven't I? So, um, where... Or just how much fur, I'm saying. Oh, right. Fur, I have 38. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, well, heck, we got enough for two more beds then. Okay. Perfect. So, um, where is it? We don't have to do our dirty trick then. <laughs> no, Bed, no, we don't. Bedroll. All right. So I have to do a campfire first, then a bedroll. Yeah. And I got I one guess you are taking point. damage now. One point. Eat berries. Eat all the berries you got. It'll help your water. That's true. What, what all 86 or 66 of them? Oh, yeah. Just consume stack. Good point. Uh, okay, split stack. Consume thirty-two. That'll do. It won't. It won't give you a whole bunch, but it does help. Yeah, it's giving me some. Uh, okay, so crafting uh, bedroll. You want one as well, yeah? So, oh no. Yeah, two more. Yeah, I, uh, here, here you go, Mozo. I'll give you the fur uh, I got. I just need two. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, and unfortunately, until you do fur armor and stuff, fur's kind of pointless after a bed. Yeah. Okay, here's, uh, yeah. here's your bed. Thank you. And down there. Right. Use my oh, points. this is going to be cozy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> sure well, we're going to be best friends by the end of this night. Three. Oop. Three in a bed, and the little one said, move over. <laughs> so you see there, that kind of shows you how sleeping is. You have to have all three of those conditions. Yeah. Be by a campfire, you know, they have to be sheltered, yeah. obviously, so and then all eight, three people have to. Six at night so till seven in the morning. It, right, yeah. So it's right. instantaneous. You see the time. As long as it's after 1800 in the top right, you can sleep, yeah. and it will instantly make it now seven in the morning. Yep. And you can get up from your bed right away. Yeah, cool. so you sleep, sleep between 1600 and 7, so anytime yep. between there. Yeah. And then since we're moving, I'm just going to hold X and pick up my bed right away. Yeah, I was going to do the same thing. And then we'll each thing. now have a bed for ourselves. Okie dokie. All right, so who wants to go northeast and who wants to go southwest? Uh, hang on, I'm going to have breakfast first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, stack your three foods. That's always a good start. So just eat one of the stringy good meats. Well, and the, uh, and the bad thing is, Mozo, you've already... Let's see, I don't know how many you have on you. Dave, you had all three buffs already. Yeah, uh, grab a grilled we... pumpkin is a great one. If uh, you want it. So, how do I just take one, then? Um, If you right-click, you can just consume it. I think... Um, you can drag holding like shift or alt and it will carry one at a time. I think it's alt. Yeah, shift doesn't work. Uh, alt. There you yeah, go, yeah. That worked. And uh, so does that... And just the grilled pumpkin one? is what you want, not the not the yeah. uncooked pumpkin. Might as well just take the... And you can split the stack in half as well. That's another thing you can oh, do. Oh, right. Uh, let me just take a couple of those then. And a um, couple of the those. And then I grab one of those. The one, yeah, either that. Okay, grab that whole stack. Yep, just take that yeah. whole stack. Okay. Yeah. Trying not to be a, a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Um, Dave, did you get me? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna grab. Uh, I hate some, so I'll just grab one more. Well, there you Rustic, go. I'll give you berries, nice carrots. My, set, my full meat stack. So okay, thanks. Yeah, in case yeah. I take some damage. Great. Okay, so alrighty, guys. Well, just gonna whoever wants to grab the fire, we're gonna leave everything here. Um, these thatch things are so easy to craft when you get there. There's no point in carrying them around. Right. So um, we'll just leave this to the weather. Do you want to leave the fire here? Or Somebody might as well grab it. Uh, you can either take it or take the wood out of it, and we can make another one. Whichever. Yeah, might as well leave yeah. it there. I've got the wood anyway, so. Um, yeah, we'll see if I'm encumbered. If I am, I'll drop it. But oh. I'm good for now, so I'm taking it. So, right. uh, which one are you going to? 
You're going to um, go off to one, and Porto yeah, and me will go, we'll go off to the other. northeast, and you guys go southwest. Or? Okay. So, right. uh, oh, there's a blue mark up here. Did you just you put that on Porto? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I just did. Okay. All right. Well, uh, All right. Off, off on our little adventures. I'm going to have to pick some more berries up on the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yep. And uh, obviously, we need to try and get some water. Yep. Which uh, it's it's going to be nice the more levels we get because then we can get the water canteen uh, bladder. Right. Uh, let's see. Oh, come down here and get some water too. Oh right. Okay. And then... Oh, I just dropped my stone and now realize I need to mine some stone because I forgot I need a whole lot of arrows. Yes. Yeah, arrows is good. Yeah, I've got bone arrows unlocked, so i got to get some more bone. Oh, look at that. I'm a sliver under five, so I'm going to switch to bone here. I am excited. I'll just do your trick of holding down the, in your case, E button. Yep. Mm -hmm. In my case, the F button. And it may not... As you go into this, I don't know what you think, Batu. It may not be a bad idea to consider crafting a second knife. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can put it in a high number in your hotbar if you want, but if your first one breaks and then you're in the heat of things, it might not be a bad idea to have a second one. Uh, I suppose again, it's... I would wait right now. Not, don't even bother with another stone. Just get yourself to, to bone yeah. before you get to your place. I'm there guessing it's kind fire. of the same with uh, spears. Like if you were using spears, you you wouldn't just create create one. You know, you'd have a few, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. so for for that very reason, you know, if if uh, one breaks, you want to have a backup. Um, oh, I lost you. This. And spears um, is a whole thing. There are people that are diehard spear only players in this game. So you can. I'm more of a bow person, but if you like spears. There's a lot of yeah. good things. In yeah. Spears here. I'm right at the water's edge by a where the stream comes down. There's a little waterfall. Yep. Yeah, I'm across the way from you. Yeah, so level five is for bone stuff. Is that? Yeah, that's yeah. one of the big unlocks. Yeah. And you can see yeah. it in your tech tree. It says, you know, yeah. unlocked at level five. Oh, don't tell Dave about this. Sorry, no. tech. Don't tell. Don't tell him what we found here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> A field full of corn. There you go. Um. So all of this running about, and we're probably like a tenth of the way there. Is that? Yeah, we're not. Uh, we're not super close. More oxide. It really, it really won't. Uh, it really won't take long once we get to running. So I kind of like that new forecast thing. Uh, you can sort of see. So we do have a little bit of a storm coming, and then another couple after that. Hopefully, uh, I haven't quite figured out the, the timeline of it yet, but um, yeah, I, I don't know how fast it goes. Presume the left-hand side is is what's now, so we can see there is something approaching. Is that? That's the way I'm taking it. Yeah. I think so, because I know when the storm hits, it moves right to left, so... I mean, it's a two-day forecast, so we got a, we got a day of um, kind of mild, and then we got a heavy, it looks like. Hmm. Sorry, I stopped to chop some oxide. That's all right. Eh, let's have a look at the map. Oh gosh, we're miles away. Yeah, we got, we got a little ways. <laughs> can we can we just go up over the mountain? Let's <laughs> like, uh, take a shortcut. <laughs> um, which, I mean, essentially, no. I mean, we could, but it would take us longer to build than it would to run it. So. All right. Because you could build with some ramps up the side of the mountain and climb across on, and there is a height on this. Uh, right. Limit, but I'm not sure what so it is. So you can't just wander freely over the top there. Uh... 
guess this is one of those things you can never have too much of. No, I mean, you could be too heavy in some cases, mm. but... Yeah. Which later on, as we start unlocking stuff, that'll change. You only have to need it, you know, once per mission, maybe. Right. Yeah. Don't know what else I need. What have we got? Yeah, that berries. That's pretty much it. Don't need that. Too many of those. Got berries. I'm trying to figure out what I haven't eaten. That's raw pumpkin. Corn. Yeah, raw watermelon's an easy one to eat. Raw. That's cooked. It's fiber. Don't need the fiber. I'll keep all the bone for now and presume that comes in useful. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. It's nice with it's, uh, making bone arrows. And if you're going into a battle, I would stack a regular meat and a and a prime meat if you can. Right. Then that gives you the double health bump. So meats are usually good for battle and then veggies are usually good if you're running across the map. Yeah. Chamois? Come on, little guy. Here's a watermelon if you want that. Uh, I got a few raw ones at the moment. Um, uh, oh no, pumpkins I've got. Uh, eh, why not? Why not? Just typical me, you know, fill up my pockets full of food. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, bow knife. Can't have enough. Oh, wolf. Oh, no, you saw it. right there. Do you want to scan him? Get some more of your XP up? Uh, I can do. Right here in this bush. Yeah. Maybe we can get you to level 5 here. <laughs> yeah. One thing at a time. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not far off. So. Found, a, found a carrot. You know, if he was a nice friend, he would just make you some bow and arrows. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but you, you can't no, you no, no. <laughs> spoils the fun if, if if you join a game and ooh, I'm overweight. If you join a game, people just give you stuff. That's, I'm trying to um, let him have the experience, Dave. Come on. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. Well, oh, well, but we all started together, so that's a little different. I have got one bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna just chuck a few things out. I've chucked some bones away. Uh, I take it. I know we need them for uh, arrows in a minute. Um, yeah, bones I would always hang on to. Bone yeah. becomes really valuable. Um, fiber I can get anywhere. So wood, yeah. wood I can, uh, I can get that anywhere. Um, hundred and fifteen leather. <laughs> that's that's decaying. That's decaying. So I need some of that. That's decaying. Get rid of some of that. Yeah, more bones than I know what to do with. And the rest of my inventory is just full of food. Bones and leather, because leather is what's going to help you make, and, and sticks, make you uh, the bone arrows. Yeah. Well, I figure sticks and fiber and things like that, we can get them anywhere, so. Yep. Keep a little bit on me, but don't think I need stacks and stacks and stacks of the things. Ooh, a deer, yes. Oh, very badly. Ah, getting better at this killing thing. Not that I know why I but killed it, particularly. The biggest trick is stuff. don't forget to crouch. Yeah, it was on. Uh, it was on. Uh, it was on the move, so I shot it with a leading arrow. Sure. Just showing off, you know. Yeah, there you go. Nice. A little bullseye here or there. And almost managed to chop its carcass up without my knife breaking, but not quite. Oh, I am level 5, actually. Let me, uh... Oh. Let hey. me have a look. Where the heck is it? Um, bone knife? Stone knife? Yeah, I would do a knife and the arrows. Bone arrow. And a wolf. Oh, I think I just shot you. Sorry. Yeah, you probably did. 
I was trying to shoot the wolf. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I'm not that bad. Crafting. Uh, where are we? Stone knife, stone knife, or bone knife. Craft a couple of those. And then bone arrows. Ready, I have 102 bone arrow, stone arrows. Do we think I have enough? No, you need more. All stone. right, I leveled up again. Stone or bone? Uh, that would be uh, stone for me. I wish I had that many bone arrows. Well, I'm crafting 40 bone arrows. So. <laughs> wow, good for you. Um, this is me uh, not jealous. Sure. Right, let me get rid of the stone knife because that's absolutely rubbish. And the bone one in there. Then I'm going to take your advice and have a second one. Which I'll put in there. If I can remember all of that, we'll be doing well. Fur. Fur? Do you not want fur? No, I don't want no fur. I got a bed. Yeah, oh. once you get a bed, you really don't need fur um, for much else. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. there's one set of armor when you when you need to go into the snow biome, but other than that, fur kind of becomes, uh, yeah, a unneeded. A, yeah, it just uh, takes up space. Oh, Greggy. Okay. Yeah. Right, onwards, onwards and upwards, or in this case, acrosswards. So I'm a little bit surprised that. Uh, although we built a little overnight shack for the first night, um, it seems a little odd that each mission is starting from the beginning and maybe building a shack or not. I presume as we go through the game, the missions do get longer. Right, yep. So, yeah, you kind of do end up making one in the beginning while you get your bearings, but you don't have to. So it's just the storm exposure that's the problem, really. Yep, yeah, and then eventually you have crafting benches and things, so you kind of have a home base for building up towards that. But yeah, in the beginning, it's mostly just for protection. Once we get to level 10, then we'll have benches and more crafting. Right. All right, Misty. I feel like I'm pretty well prepared for my battle. I'm just debating if two stands is enough up there or if one will be enough. I hmm. seem to have an arrow sticking out of my leg. Yeah, um, that could have been me. Uh, can I have it back? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, that, that was, uh, I was trying to save your life. I thought, <laughs> By shooting me. I thought if I shoot you in the leg, I'll save your life. That was, not quite the plan, but um, that's what ended up happening. <laughs> yep. It happens. Yeah, there's quite a few arrows in the ground around you as well, I think. It, it yeah, wasn't, there was. It wasn't just your leg I shot. <laughs> uh, our first storm with a red band in it. Uh, okay, so oh, we might have to. Cave. This is this is what the cave entrances. Some of them look like Mozo. Uh, I'm presuming you're referring to the yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. You gotta okay. Break, you gotta tunnel your way into it. Okay. It's not too thick. No, no it's not bad. Um, we should find some some cover. Oh well, we go right into this here cave then. Okay. Uh, there's a ghost just disappeared over there. <laughs> now the worms will come out as soon as we come in here. So worms? You didn't say anything yeah. about worms. Space worms. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm staying out in the storm. I suppose it is marginally better than spiders. All right. 
Alright, I guess I'll find a shelter. After I get this deer. Yep, right there, one. That's alright, I'll hide behind you, I'll be perfectly safe. Ow! <laughs> That's not fair, I, I'm hiding behind you. How come it hurt me? It's a splatter effect, actually, on those, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna keep your distance from him. Um, why am I, why is my screen flashing because, red? Because you got hit with that stuff. Oh, okay. Nothing yeah, to do with so that's another, uh, that's a little debuff you get. Nothing to do with the fact yep. that I'm thirsty. Yep, that too. Worm remains, Which a small thirst? sack containing yep. the remnants of a worm. And the nice thing is there's water right there. Yep. So, you can have the worm sack. I have no interest in it. Uh, nope, I don't even, the, those are actually used whenever you get to the crafting bench. You can make, uh, different like knives and different arrows poison arrows and quite frankly they're kind of a waste for me I don't I would rather okay. use the bone arrows okie dokie right that's it I've completed the game now I've I've got some gold ore and I've got some copper ore oh yeah perfect <laughs> yeah yeah I you wouldn't get you didn't get coal and you didn't get iron what what, what? I was uh, <laughs> I didn't see that <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> The nice thing about this this stuff over here, this coal, is you use it for fuel as well. Right. Instead of burning wood. Yes, that's cooked, that's cooked, that's cooked, that's not. And... Uh, don't need all that stone. Copper ore. Spoiled meat. What happens to the gold? Spoiled plants. There's the gold. Oh. All right, good deal. Storm's pretty much over. Yep. Every, everything's spoiling faster than I can eat it. Yep. Um, <laughs> that's bone. That's fur. That's not. Uh, okay. That topped up. This is the zone. Um, it's around here somewhere. All right, let me okay. make a couple pedestals here. Well, I was going to say, I'm trying to remember, but yeah, I've got to craft the stuff first. So, you want four of those, I haven't got enough sticks. Or fiber, apparently. Hang on, just go, on a, get just go on a collecting spree. I'll have a mate up here in just a second. here and collect this while the alpha wool growls at me down the hill no <laughs> <deal>. <laughs> yeah no big deal yeah this is me not terrified at all not knowing what i'm gonna do with this wolf ah you'll be fine <laughs> so we want four of the pedestal thingies and then we want uh one of the floors oh, yeah. right and um, what was what was the sl slopey thing? That was a roof uh, piece. A, right? it, uh, yeah, a ro uh, ramp, I think. I haven't unlocked that yet. All right, I got one right here. So if, if you want to make yeah, up Yeah, it's okay. Just kind of could do it. Oh, there we go. Thatch roof ramp thing. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Um, so then crafting. Thatched roof ramp thing is there. Yep, and I'd put yours on this side of the uh, the uh, scanner spot. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I'm brave enough to try out this wolf now. Let's see. If I... Okay, so it was two on and two on top. Yeah. Yep. One, two. Yep. Uh oh. Oh boy! I just fell right next to it. That's not good. Like so. Well, maybe you won't survive. And then it's a the slopey, ah. slopey, rampy thingy. This is scary. Get up on a rock. Can I? 
You might have. Oh, I survived. I got up on a rock. There you go. Look at that. See, here's a trick. Hop up on a rock. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's because. Well, no, that should be right. I think it's. Yeah, I think it's because it's. Um. um hang on. Uh, how do I? Why? Let's press Y on it. Oh, I should have gotten so down. much more experience for that. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe uh, place it on the side of it. Yeah. Number nine. Yeah. So That's right, black to, wolf tooth. Need to snap it to there and then move across. Seems to be at a funny angle to it for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It's the way the grid is. If you ever want to reset it, the end button is usually the default to take away the grid. If you're wanting that. Oh, right, okay. Just trying to. But oh, then it won't go. snap. Yeah, it's been a bit of a pain. Yeah, it's not. It's not snapping right. Weird. So it'll go up on that one. Maybe, um, maybe the best thing to do would be if hang on, if I. I think it's because those are too far apart. I don't know why though. That's weird. Let me take those two down. And I'm gonna come to yours. So if I snap up, oh, God, won't let me. No, it's going funny here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I have a cut. I didn't even realize. Just try and fool the game into thinking it's... I mean, that, that right there would, should work. Like that. Come on. Yeah, that's high enough. You don't need the one up there. Yeah, uh, just for the sake of figuring it out. No, I didn't want to make another one. Oh god, press the wrong button. Um. That's the wrong way round, isn't it? I want it. Oh. Yeah, you want it on the other side. Uh, uh, oh, I had it. And then it went. Oh lord, we're just going to spend. There we go. We're just going to spend yeah, all the, day. <laughs> the downside of the, how that one is set up is it's a bit low. They, they can climb, they can climb that ramp. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know, but that's, but right. that's a little nitpicky. You can that's take right. that ramp down once you get up there if you wanted to, and then they can't yeah. get up there. But even if they climb it, that's really only if they're yeah. chasing you up it. Too big of a deal. Yeah, that's okay. You you can uh, yeah. you can use that ramp anyway. I'll be fine. I'll be on yours. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, that's where my carrot went. Okay. Don't know how that ended up down there, but no, I'll do. Right. So, um, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Let me. Uh... Let me set these guys on fire. As they come in. Oh, you've already put the you've already put the thing down. I see. Yep, it just needs to have the E put on it. Okay. I just Alright. I was just waiting to Yeah. To do all that. There you go. Stations online. Uh, right, maybe this time I'll actually get to see them coming in at me. Uh, didn't last time. Uh, 
Yeah, and they should be coming from your side, I yeah, believe. Yeah, there they are. There's a, a boar. Oh, bacon. Yeah, I don't know why he came in. I'm not sure that this is supposed to be boar. Yeah, I wonder. There's one stuck at the bottom, I think, unless it's under me. There's one there's, at the bottom no, of the cliff. Yeah, I can hear something, but there's nothing under you. Oh, here comes another one. Missed. And another one. Oh. Run away. Oh, and a leopard. See him, thank you. Well, you're done. And we're done. And another boat. Another boat. Mission complete. Reward 100 grand. Yep, and we are out of yeah. here. Yeah. Except we now have to run all the way back to our drop pods. Yep, all except for that part. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you realize we're going to have more meat than we know what to do with. That's yeah, right. that, that happens. <laughs> There's a cave. Look at that. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the fire here and we can uh, oh. head on to our pods. Unless you want to sleep, you guys could do a quick little shelter and sleep. Yeah, we could. Oh, can't demolish it because it needs repairing, apparently. Yep. Yeah, that is a thing. And repair it first. Um, oh, hey, you know, you know what bacon gets me in the fire? It gets me electric masonry bench. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Just what you needed. That sounds great. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Yeah, electric I don't think we need bench. the gold or the copper, do we? Nope. Uh, trying to make some room here. Alright, crafting. I uh, don't have it. Where did I see the repair hammer? There, wood hammer. Oops. Crafting. Wood hammer, craft. Oh, my hotbar is absolutely full of. Everything that doesn't need to be on my hotbar. Yep. <laughs> Including more leather. Mine too. Okay, and um, what have I got? Got a ramp. <sighs> I just thought we'd chuck yeah, it up here. Is this too far away from the fire? Is it? Or? No, it's good. No. 
It'll work. Yeah. So we want one of those. Oh, sticks. Why is it I've got more than enough of everything except what I need? What do you need? More <laughs> sticks? Yeah. I got a lot of sticks. Sure, there must be a load of sticks around here somewhere. You got a torch? Nope. <laughs> no, I'm being very lax. I haven't, I haven't made any of the stuff that you taught me how to make. And um, right, stick that over there. And now I'm out of sticks again. There's sticks uh, up here. Somewhere. Sticks somewhere. There you go, it's bottom of the ramp. Uh, okay. That, that was a guess because I couldn't actually see them. Yeah, I know, neither could I. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, well. And I have. I took the door off the base that we had up there, so I have a door on me. There you go. Alright, oh, okay. And, uh, what, did I craft one of those? No, I didn't. Oh. Can't. Okay, uh, let's get these down. So, we are nine. One, two, three. And. Ah, remembered. The R button. Yeah. And I'm apparently... Hang on. Hold that thought. I'll be back. Ugh. Oh. Been running around all day, surrounded by fiber, and when you need it, you can't find it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got that too. Okay, that's slow. Craft. Okay. And one of those. Where am um, There ish. Ah. Cozy. Go to sleep, Dave. Okay, you're ready. <laughs> Yay! We we Cozy. Alright, now the nice fun run back. Yes. Um, we won't need any of this anymore. I'm... Oh, yeah, didn't want to do that. Um, I'm guessing we won't, but uh, just for the sake of completion, I'll pick that up. And I've got... And so any food in the fire stuff. if you want. I've got so much food. Mozo, I've got a little trick if you're uh, wanting, Watson. Now that you know you don't need to do uh, as many arrows, that stack of 42 you have. Yeah. Right click it uh, and destroy it. Right. Uh, those bone arrows. Okay. You might as well destroy your, your uh, stone ones also. Yeah, destroy. Those ones you're just getting rid of. Yeah, you'll get half your materials back, so you know, right-click your bone arrow and destroy all that whole stack. Well, I might need it, because I've got to run back to the, uh, the, the ship yet. Yeah, you'll get some more. I'm just going to show you here. All right. If okay. you destroy it here, and then craft, I mean, and then destroy. craft max bone arrow again. Craft. Uh, uh, top right there. Yeah, yeah. max. And if you go max. Okay. And the reason I do is if you... There you go. If you exit this, see that 57 per bone arrow you're crafting at the top left? So uh, sometimes when you have a big stack, if you're at the end of a mission, I'll just destroy it and then craft max. Destroy, craft max. Oh, just to get the XP? Is that what you Yeah. Mean? Right. Yep, okay. sorry. That's all I was trying to show yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so every time you it's craft really it, tricks. yeah, every time you craft it, it gives you XP. Yep. Got you. And the arrows are really good for XP as well, so... Yeah. They tend to be something I'll just craft over and over. <gasps> water! <laughs> we finally got our water.
Ah, so good, and then oh. just bathe in it. <laughs> Big nub. And you can get a little fish. Come here, fishy. Yeah, Mozo's gonna get him one. I'm trying. Maybe. What? Fishy. There you go. I can't get him. Well, the, the stinging fish will find me at least. Yes, <sighs> you will definitely find those. That's okay, they taste the same. <laughs> right. Um, so, just a case of finding our way back to our drop pods, then, I'm assuming. Yeah, the last little run. While well, Dave swims around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I'm getting he, there. He's just enjoying the skinny dipping, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Since we don't have a suit, we don't have anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, his uh, his um uh can't tell who's that, that is. That one is if you if you look at it it should tell you that it is not your pod. It does. It says it's not your dropship, but it doesn't say whose it is. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't tell you, other than simplicity on their part. They don't have to add anything. Yeah. But this one's this one's fine. Interesting. Uh, right, I will carry on over here. Alright, uh, well, I guess there's if... There's uh, a wild Dave running in front of me. <laughs> shoot him, shoot him. Oh, he's going to get high today. <laughs> 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 Is it right in your face and you still miss me? I know, I can't believe it. It's the third person view, I swear. Ah, uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, get some stamina back. Oh yeah? You've got uh, yours, Pa. Don't know why it drops yeah, me so far running. away from yeah, everybody. I can watch you guys both fire off at the same time. I'm excited. I always love watching the escape. Not quite sure why it always dumps me in the middle of nowhere. Like, Porto gets a lovely location right next to a lake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's because you're the, you're the new guy. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. Game doesn't like me. Okay, here we are. Cleverly balanced on one leg. Um, do I need to, uh, do I need to put this thing back? Oh, there's already one in it. No. There's already yeah, a, you're fine. Yeah. It, it was just for this mission, so they can make themselves another one for the next people. <laughs> oh, you can put it in the dropship cargo. Okay. You can. Right, okay, well, thank you very much. Um, thank you everybody for watching, if you've stuck with us this far. Um, sorry it's a bit messy around uh, at the moment. I'm still learning, and obviously we're in the early stages of the missions. Hopefully as we go through the missions it'll get a little bit more interesting maybe. And at some point, we want to just do a uh, setting up a base. That would be kind of nice. Just uh, build a base in the mountains or on a waterfall or something interesting. So we might um, maybe have a go at that on one episode, just as a bit of a break from the missions. I don't know if you guys are uh, interested in that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun Absolutely. just to, to do, a, yeah, do a bit of building and, and learn about the building mechanics of the game. But uh, for now, just to get some experience and something under my belt, uh, I think we just need to do a few missions and learn how things go. But um, yeah, I think for now, that'll do us. So thank you very much for joining me, uh, us. I'm going to jump in my dropship and uh, return to station. So yeah, take care. Bye. 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 Well, thank you all for joining us. It's been a lot of fun. I hope we've learned some stuff in that one. And please remember that in, in uh, co-op we do get more animal attacks and things. Single player shouldn't be that difficult. And I hope to catch you on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.